discounts, markups, percentages, everything like that. Today, we're going to talk about that. So, thank you for watching and thank you for clicking on this video. This video is part of the series of videos I'm posting to try to help people when it comes to aptitude tests like the civil service exam. This video is a special technique video that I usually teach live lang, so exclusive shop for live review events. But as my gift to you guys, and because I know that this can be helpful to you, kasi napatunayan na namin sa live review na nakatulong sa kanila, we are going to talk about this today. Today, we're going to talk about discounts, markups, yung mga rates, mga kanyang-ganyan yung mga presyo na bumaba, ng bumaba or tumaas, looking for the original price, looking for the discounted price. But it's going to be different because we're not going to use any formulas. If you want the traditional method or you want to start with the basics, which I suggest that you do, make sure that you watch the video. The link is right here. Yun muna panoorin ninyo bago ito. Because this is a little bit different. Instead of using the uh, formula, what we're going to use is ratio rotation. I'm going to offer up to you uh, an alternative. If you don't want to use the formula, this is what you can do. Kung hindi kayo comfortable sa algebra, instead of algebra, you're going to use ratio rotation. In order for me to show you better, I'm going to switch over to my PC so I can show you how. See you in a bit. Okay, so we're going to talk about discuss and markups. It's a little bit different. So, babalikan lang muna natin yung mga questions that I solved using the traditional method and then we're going to apply we're going to apply the new method. Ayun, ito yung sample natin before. If you haven't seen the first video, I suggest that you do para makita niyo yung traditional method. So, you can pick which method works for you. Again, I don't care kung anong klaseng method ang gagamitin niyo as long as you get it right. Yun naman ang goal natin for you to pass. So, whether you use this or you use a different one, that's okay. Watch it first para malaba rin yung original na process or yung formula natin. But this one is going to be different kasi I'm going to use a different method in order for me to solve this problem. And it's going to bank on you knowing on a ratio rotation. So if you haven't seen the video on ratio rotation, go and watch that first. There should be a link popping up in the upper right corner if you're watching this on YouTube. Bakit? Kasi instead of using a formula, all we're going to do is to use ratio rotation. Now, medyo na-explain ko na to a little bit doon sa aking video nung uh, how to solve percentages fast without using yung multiplication by decimals or basically using the ratio rotation for it. If you've seen that video, then this is going to be easier for you. Now, ano yung uh, key here? I'm going to demonstrate using the sample set muna. Sabi, what will the new price of a shirt be after a 50% markup if the original price is 1,000? Again, if you're using the formula, this is going to be uh, new price is equal to original price plus the original price times the percentage. So, in this case, this is going to be x is equal to 1,000 plus 1,000 times 50%. Okay? In this case, the second question, what is the original price of a shirt B? If the new price is 1,000 50% discount, the formula is going to be the same, but you're going to fill in different information. Dahil our new price is 1,000, this is going to be 1,000 is equal to the original price, which is your X plus X times the percentage. Okay? So in this case, 1,000 is equal to x plus x times 50%. Okay? Kaya lang dahil siya ay discount, 50% discount, ibig sabihin binawasan, this is not going to be plus, it's going to be minus. Okay? So again, that is the problem with the formulas. You have to uh, know the formula and then choose kung plus or minus siya and then change the formula and then use algebra to solve this. If you want to see that, watch the first video. But in this video again i'm going to offer an alternative bakit kasi i'm the type of question uh, i'm the type of question i'm the type of person then na hindi ako mahilig memorize ng formulas and in order for me to solve things the reason why i come up with these techniques na hindi naman lang ako ang gumagamit maybe some of you already use it na hindi niyo alam but uh, or some of you use it pero hindi niyo alam na mas mabilis pala yon um the reason why i come up with this is because i don't like memorizing formulas so, if you don't want to memorize formulas or if hindi kayo masyadong adept dun sa ganitong klaseng algebra, there is an alternative which is using ratio rotation. Paano yon? Ganito yon. Ang concept only works like this. Meron kang peso side at saka meron kang percentage side. Again, almost the same doon sa aking advice on solving for, for percentages. And then you're going to just uh, itatapat nyo lang yung information. 
in this side sa taas it's going to be it can be your original price or your new price depende sa inyo pero choose na lang natin new price over the original price okay now ang new price natin is going to be yung price ng shirt after a 50% markup ngayon kung i-treat natin siya as percentage ang original price this is a constant okay Original price or full price is always 100%. Yan yung sa percentage side. Ngayon, dito sa peso side, okay, ang sabi, ang original price mo daw is or equal to 1,000. So, ang original price, yung nasa ilalim, siya ay 1,000. Ngayon, ang hinahanap mo is the new price ng shirt. So, siya yung magiging X. Again, tinapat lang natin, new price, old, origin, old, old or original price. Okay? Now, the next question is, ano ang percentage ng new price? In this case, dahil meron kang 50% markup, may kailangan lang ng onting analysis. 50% markup, ibig sabihin, nagdagdag ka daw ng 50%. So, yung dating 100%, kung magdadagdag ka ng 50%, ilang percent na yun? The answer is 150. Okay? 150% na kasi nag-50% na markup ka. Tawaas siya ng one, ng 50. From 100, dagdagdag ka ng 50. So, it becomes 150. Ngayon, how do we use ratio rotation? Ganito lang. Okay? Starting from here. Okay? Pwede na mag-start. You have 1,000 divided by, okay, divided by 100. It's going to give you 10 times 150, which is going to give you 1,500. And that is the correct answer. Again, not using the formula. Nagtapat-tapat ka lang ng information. So, this is a good alternative if you don't like to use the formula. The best thing about this method is, hindi nyo kailangan mag-memorize ng different formula for a different question. You're going to use the exact same thing. Tila natin, ha? So, you have the new price over the original price. You have the percentage side and the, uh, the peso side and the percentage side. Ngayon, ang hinahanap is the original price. So, ibig sabihin, yung original price in pesos, yun ang X. Binigay yung new price, which is 1,000. 1,000 pesos is equal to, and then sabi natin, di ba, the original price is always 100%. So, this is 100. Sa taas, anong ilalagay natin? Ang sabi, what is the original price of a shirt B if, uh, what what is the original price of a shirt if the new price is 1,000 after a 50% discount? So, ibig sabihin, nag-discount ka ng 50%. From 100%, nagbawas ka ngayon ng 50%. Kasi nag-discount ka. Nabawasan siya ng 50%. So, ilan na lang siya? The answer is 50. The trick here is just knowing na pag nag-increase ka ng presyo, kuyari, additional 30%, that is 130%. Pag nagbawas ka ng 30%, it's going to be 70%. Okay? And then from here, you can use ratio rotation na. Okay? So, if you want to start, you can start right here, 100. So, 100 divided by 50 is 2 times 1,000 is 2. And I've already used the traditional method for this in my earlier video. We all know that 2,000 is correct. Okay, so 2,000 is the right answer. Ayon, bakit siya useful? Useful. We're going to solve muna together. Ito yung same question that I posted earlier. We used the traditional method before uh, and we used a formula. But this time, we're going to use just the ratio technique. So you have the, pers uh, the peso side and the percentage side. You have the new price and the old price. Okay? So, over, over. Original price lagging 100%. Sabi, what will the new price of a bag be after a 10% markup? So, ang new price ang inahanap siya ang X. Nagkaroon ka ng 10% markup. Ibig sabihin, nagdagdag ka ng 10%. So, this is going to be 110. Ang original price mo is 4,700. Again, that's all you need to do. From then, from there, you can start solving. So, 4,700, ikot lang natin, divided by 100 is 47, times 110, okay? Or, you can make it even easier by using smallest terms. So, you can use uh, x over 4,700 is equal to 11 over 10. Kasi, di ba, pareho naman silang divisible by 10, pareho silang may 0, so you can cancel it. So, 4,700 divided by 10, which is 470 times 11. Okay? So, 470 times 11, you can use 4700, which is the times 10, and idadagdag mo lang yung 
isa pa para mabuo mo yung 11 which is 470, it's still going to give us 5170 which is still the correct answer. Okay? So that is how easy it is if you don't use the formula. Ang, ang goal ko here is if you are not gifted sa memorization of formulas, ang importante, meron kang paraan para masolve nyo pa rin. So what I'm going to do is to ask you to solve this. It's a new question to try to use the technique that I just taught you. Okay, so hit pause now. Alright, let's see how you did. Sabi, what will the new price of a bag be after 5% discount if the original price is 2500 So again, tapatan lang. New price over original price. You have the peso side or the percentage side. Okay. Percentage, laging yung original price is 100%. Okay. And then in the peso side, you have yung original price which is 2500 Ang hinahanap mo is the new price kasi siya yung what? What is new? So, ito ang X. Ito ay magiging the percentage after a 5% discount. So, nag-discount ka, ibig sabihin, nagbawas ka ng 5%. So, instead of 100, this is going to be 95. Okay? The next thing that you're going to do is ratio rotation na lang tayo. You have 2,500 divided by 100. So, that is 25. 25 times 95. Okay? So again, you can do a number of things to solve this. You can multiply it long cut. So this is 25 to 45, 47. This is 10. This is 18 plus 1, 19. So this should give you uh, 75 here and then 13 to 2,375. Okay? And an, an even easier way to solve it, uh, you don't need to know this, but if you can grasp it, it's this. Ang 2,500 is yung 100%. So, ang hinahanap mo yung 95% ng 2,500. So, you can uh, use our method sa speed ng percentage. Ibabawas mo na lang yung 5% from this. So, ang 5% ng 2,500 is yung 10% divided by 2. Ang 10% ay 250 divided by 2 is 125. So, ima-minus mo lang yung 125 from 2,500, it's still going to give you 2,375. So, that is a, 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 another uh, technique, another uh, thing that you can do. Okay? Now, the next type of question, ito, I'm going to demonstrate muna. Okay, or if you want to try it out for yourself, you can also hit pause so you can try. Uh, sabi the store put all of its goods on, stay, on sale at 75% less than the original price. Hinahanap yung original price ng pair of shoes if the discounted price is 3750 So again, if you want to use the traditional method, that, that's okay. But if you want to use uh, the new method, new price over original price, you have the peso side and the percentage side. Ang hinahanap is the original price kasi what is the original price. Yun ang tanong. So, yun ang hinahanap. So, siya yung X. And then, you have yung 25% less dahil lagi siya 100%. 25% less is minus 25%. So, this is going to be 75. Ito yung new price natin or the discounted price is 3,750. So, what are we going to do? Again, we solved this using the traditional method in the earlier video. This is an alternative that you can do. So, you have 3,750 over X. Pwede natin is smallest terms to. 75 over 100. You can divide both sides by 25. Okay? Kasi divisible sila pala sa 25. This is going to give you 3 over 4. So, 3,750 divided by 3 times 4. So, that is going to give you um, 1, 2, 5, 0 times 4 or 5,000. Again, same answer, using the ratio rotation lang. Okay, so I'm going to ask you again to try this one naman. Hit pause now. Alright, let's see how you did. Okay, sabi, the store increased naman, increased, nagdagdag ng price ng goods niya daw by 25% more than the original price. So we have yung ating new, pr uh, new price over... Original price, you have the peso side and the percentage side. Original price is always 100%. Ang inahanap mo is after a 50% more, 
more than or dagdag. Nagdagdag ka ng 25%. This is going to be 125. Itatapat lang natin. Ang original price daw, ang hinahanap kasi siya yung what? Ang new price is equal to 3,000. So, ito yung 3,000. Ito yung magiging X. What do you do next? Again, you can put this in smallest terms muna. Divisible sila by 25 both. So, you have 5 over 4. So, it's equal to 3,000 over X. Iikot lang natin from here. So, 3,000 divided by 5. So, you have 600 times 4, which is going to give you 6, 12, 18, 24, 2,400 pesos. I really hope you got it right. Kasi if you notice, diba, it's really fast if sanayin na kayo doon sa entire process. So, the key here is practice, practice, practice. Alright, I hope you found that helpful. If you did, click thumbs up, share this video with your friends. If you have any na magkatik ng exam, upkat, let, lae, or anything like that really soon. Also, if you have, uh, um, meron kay mga kaibigan or mga pamangkin or mga anak na nasa high school or nasa grade school, uh, baka makatulong din to sa kanila. I'd love for you guys to reach out to me then. If you want to send me a message, you can go to www.facebook.com slash teamlaika or comment down below so I can uh, talk to you and reach out to you and basically know what you want more um next time we're going to talk about more stuff so make sure that you're subscribed there should be a bell button below if you're watching this from youtube make sure to hit that button para malaman niyo as soon as a new video posts that way uh pag meron kayong may bagong video hindi niyo siya mamimiss there are hundreds more videos so you can go to my uh channel to see all the other videos already posted and catch up there should be links in here so you can see those God bless guys, aja aja kainian, and keep practicing because that can only help you. See you in my next video.